Two weeks ago, I told you that Michigan State was the best team in the Big Ten, and Michigan State may still be the best team in the Big Ten. That just tells you how far the conference is down this year because the Spartans have a lot of flaws. They showed up against Notre Dame on Saturday night as Michigan State went down 20-3. to The offense was deplorable. Mark Rogers TV talking about three up and three down, capping off a week three of college football. Our three up teams, Florida, Notre Dame, and Northwestern. Check out those videos on the downside. Wisconsin, and again, out of the Big Ten, Michigan State. Again, 20-3, to big spotlight game against Notre Dame. Michigan State could have splashed their way deep into the top ten and made a statement toward a national championship game, possibly, but the Spartans... Again, couldn't mount any offense with Andrew Maxwell at quarterback. All he could complete were 23 passes, and those were all dink and dunk shots. He averaged 4.2 yards per attempt. Le'Veon Bell was 77 yards rushing as that Michigan State offensive line could not get any push against Notre Dame's front seven. They were completely dominated. And how often do you see a Mark Antonio team dominated up front? Now, Michigan State's defense... Still extremely good, played very well, had a couple breakdowns, but considering the position the offense consistently put them in Saturday night, the Michigan State defense is still really good. So this team could still step up and play really well in the Big Ten. I still say they're the best team in the Big Ten. The quarterback situation, he's getting better. The receivers are highly touted. They're just inexperienced. They've got to learn how to separate, make some plays. Deion Sims, a tight end, a good player, had six catches for 52 yards Saturday night. And again, Le'Veon Bell, not breakaway speed, but he's a workhorse. He's a good back, just had no chance against Notre Dame. Would love to hear what you have to say about Sparty, Big Ten, college football, whatever's on your mind on Mark Rogers TV.